Hello everyone, my name is Huang Fu. <laughs> I'm eight years old. I live in the last city and I study at Lakeru Primary School. Nice to meet you. Today, I'm going to, to talk about really special English. Would you read with me? Let's start. I'm Alex Vieira with the VOA Special English Economics Report. Facebook is the world's biggest social network and the subject of the movie Social Network. The real Mark Zuckerberg and his friends at Harvard University launched the site 2004. Facebook says it reached 500 million users last July. Now, the American bank Goldman Sachs and the Russian company Dajitur saw technologies that friendly on Facebook say so investigating a total of $500 million in the company. The deal values Facebook at $50 billion. More than many perfectly traded internet companies. Goldman Sachs is expected to raise a billion and a half dollars more by selling shares of ownership in Facebook to rich investors. The plan does not include a public stock offering, at least not right now. For now, Facebook would remain a private company, meaning a company that does not sell shares to the public. The plan has brought new attention to the largely secretive world of private financing and the rules of private companies in the United States. The idea is that investors in public companies and protections that investors in private companies do not. The Securities and Exchange Commission says a private company must report financial information if it has more than 500 shareholders. A new business is a startup company is usually considered too risky for average investors. But a promising startup many find a small cheaper private investors angles. These investors are willing to lose everything for a chance at big returns. Ricky Turtle has been involved in raising money for startups. He is now chairman of his own investment company, Convestor with offices in New York and London. Mr. Tata compares the difference between public and private companies to the difference between marriage and dating. When people are dating, he says, there are understandings but free rules. In marriage, the rules are more clear and well defined. In his opinion, in his opinion, the only real benefit for a private company is lower administrative and record keeping costs. That he just has convinced remains a private company after a few years because it still is too risky for most investors. For VOA Special English, it's very rare. You can comment on our progress as well as transcripts and MP3s at VOAspecialenglish.com. We are on Facebook and Twitter at VOA Learning English. See you later, friends!